I remember the first day they're like, okay, we want you to dress like Daniel Bryan. We're gonna cut your beard even. Like we want he, they wanted him to cut 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 this nice and short. Like oh, they, wow. they wanted me to look like him. Oh, like can we do a little makeup and make his ears look different? <laughs> like Rewind, recap, relive for over fifty episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interviews. Eric, something I found interesting that you started doing at some point was wearing um, a lot of band t-shirts, right? And um, Harper, at one point, I think, started wearing them too, or maybe a, a few times. Can you tell us how that came about? Because uh, after years of just seeing wrestlers don the, you know, no other logo other than their own, how did you get that approved? How did it come about? I thought it was so interesting. Um, I've always hidden plain sight in major companies like WWE, yeah. uh, which is amazing to me. Uh, but uh, no, uh, they took away the, the mask, which was my form of uh, talking without talking, because I wasn't always given the promo time. And I was like, how can I show a little bit of my personality without speaking like I did with the masks? That's why I always had different masks made, just the gas mask one. Like, I had different things made to kind of right. show like I had different sides to me. I had the clown one made, like, just an example. And... Then when they said, okay, well, you're not with the Bludgeon Brothers no more. You're going to be with Daniel Bryan as a, as a bodyguard, but you guys are going to eventually be equals. And I was like, uh, we'll see if that happens. Uh, <laughs> which ended up turning into a story. But I remember the first day, they were like, okay, we want you to dress like Daniel Bryan. We're going to cut your beard even. Like, we want, he, they wanted him to cut, cut, cut this nice and short. Like, oh, they, wow. they wanted me to look like him. Oh, like, can we do a little makeup and make his ears different? <laughs> like, True story. I was like, okay, it's like we're at TV. They had already given me a couple like uh, um, plaid shirts to kind of look like them. So then they were about to go. I think Dean Malenko came up to me. He's like, okay, we got to get you, you know, in the, to make up and you know, cut your beard. And I said, no, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk to Vince. So go into Vince's office and. Um, basically said, before I start cutting the beard off and making. <laughs> permanent changes to my to, to the way I look yeah uh, can we discuss what exactly you want out of this and then it ended up being oh I don't want you to be a parody of them I was like okay I kept the beard and then uh oh that's great so I ended up wearing, wearing the, sh the shirts and jeans and a pair of chucks and then I'm like all right uh what else do I got in my bag and I was like well Tom Savini uh him and his company made the the sheet masks that I had. So I was like, how can I show homage to him? Okay, well, I had a Tom Savini t-shirt that I wore out at the Royal Rumble that week. And then it turned like, okay, well, no way in hell I'm gonna wear a horror sh movie shirt every week because that's just not gonna happen. I don't yeah. have that many shirts. And I was like, <laughs> what? Well, I was, uh, and it happened on a Sunday, so like Monday and Tuesday, I have TV for Raw and SmackDown. And I'm like, well, what the hell am I gonna wear? And I was like, oh, okay. I have plenty of rock shirts, like metal shirts. And so I just started wearing a different one every show. And I just didn't tell anybody. And nobody told wow. me to stop. And I think, <laughs> I think dot com started like showing like every metal shirt I was wearing. And I, in the mail, I was getting uh, packages from record labels, you know, with, you know, tons yeah. of t shirts and uh, vinyls. And like, I was like, please, I love music. And, uh, you know, it's through that love of music. I, I, I did uh, a Modern Arts music video um, for their last um, album. So, like, my love of music got me to get a lot of connections within the, the music world. But then wearing these shirts gave me a little bit more attention with that music world, which is pretty cool, because it gave them attention on a national scale. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, um, it's just another one of those things. It's like how do you get yourself to stand out if they don't let you speak exactly and, and show yeah. a little bit of yourself and then telling that eric rowan story of well he's this guy he's this guy he's this guy well now he doesn't have a mask he's not really that leather face character who is he well he's just you know guy who likes fucking going to metal shows he's <laughs> my language sorry oh, cypher I, sorry cypher for cursing <laughs> <laughs> Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.